Ladies and gentlemen, I am Paul, U.S. Army combat veteran, and big news, big if true, Russian Badger just dropped his latest video, Tomahawking Spiders for Trespassing. I hate bugs, and I love chopping things, I guess. Hey, let's get into it. Let's see what's up. Force 4 is a Japanese recreation of me finding a spider in my shower. While he's learning a valuable lesson about trespassing on private property, I'm gonna remind you that this is your first and only warning that there are giant spiders in this video. Oh god. Back in June of 2017. Okay, I'm gonna point this out that you're not, if you kill something for trespassing, you haven't taught it a lesson about trespassing, you've demonstrated that it has failed to correctly discern the lesson, right? You can only learn a lesson if you have a chance to come back from it, right? You know, you don't learn a lesson about smoking by getting lung cancer. Getting lung cancer shows that you should have learned a lesson about smoking. You see what I mean? God decided that Earth was taking up too much disk space in the solar system and chose to uninstall it by hitting select all on his worst creations and heating them into the Earth. Okay, this is a bit much, even for God. Codenamed the Ravagers, these robot alien bug lizards mean business because typically when an invader brings giant lizards and a literal genocide gun, they aren't looking to negotiate. Oh God, you're getting hit with the McDonald's right? Oh. Thankfully, even the wrath of God is no match for the United States, I mean Earth Defense Force, which usually responds to things that it doesn't understand by carpet bombing them out of existence it's a bird it's a plane oh no it's lockheed martin but this <laughs> okay i'm gonna also point this out the whole like we're gonna exterminate earth by invading it with earth-sized creatures is pretty dumb in case you guys haven't noticed if you could say engineer a disease uh that would basically wipe out earth if you could get the disease to spread for a, if you could get it to spread before it like crushed people yeah that would be pretty easy in fact it wouldn't even have to be that bad a disease because remember you don't have to have a hundred percent elimination rate if you can do 99 99.99 percent uh you'll eliminate enough genetic diversity that most people will be done in a generation you could also if you really wanted to destroy a lot of life on earth you could always just block out the sun right if you're an international super space race that can engineer robo spiders you can probably just blot out the sun or just take an asteroid redirect it and throw it at earth right and just move on with your lives why they overcomplicate things with spiders is beyond me DF desperately needs people to pull triggers and call out coordinates, which is where you come in. Playing a guy with gun. Girl with gun. That can fly, I guess. Guy that has no gun, but can call his buddy that has the biggest gun. And last but not least... I try not to look him directly in the eyes. I'm on my perk 30s, bitch! So if you'd like to see mankind attempt to uppercut God and all of his lizards that have absolutely no legal relation to the trademarked creature Godzilla, then I suggest you stick around. I'm gonna be honest, I don't have a permit to kill this nondescript lizard. Or you can close the video now and save yourself the headache, because my squad and I may be the very best that the EDF has to offer, but that's not saying much. It's morbid time! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you know, if there's one thing we've learned from the Ukraine conflict, it's that, you know, the what constitutes the best tends to be attrited over time. This is true in both Ukraine and Russia, where their top, let's say, 10% of their military is actually diminished quite a bit. Uh, and that's just because of the nature of combat, right? Your best troops are going to be put into your most high stakes situations, your most no fail missions, and they're going to experience a high rate of attrition. And the people that replace them will sort of by definition be less experienced, less trained and less qualified. So honestly, if you were showing up in like the fifth year of the war against the bugs, yeah, you would have schoolgirl, uh, uh, crazy person, you know, I'm surprised there's not a fat character. Doctor tried to give me Tylenol instead of perks, so I punched him in his fucking face. <laughs> this is what Europeans think American recess is like. <laughs> yeah, so, you Come on, man. They don't give you rocket launchers until high school, at least. This is not a... Yeah, don't worry, man. I used to eat a lot of fucking dirt this back in the day. We're ready, fellas. <laughs> Yoink. Oh. <laughs> that was so perfect in time. D-E-D-F-D -E boys. 10 second sponsor before this bomb explodes. Gamer cells. Buy my energy drink, guacamole gamer fart 9000 and use code X. I'm getting gagged. Okay, there we go. If you, can, if you, if you are 
watching this video for the first time from my reaction to it, amigos, my reaction is not the same thing as the experience of watching this video. You should really go watch it. I always put the link in the description. A billion ants over here. Yeah, yeah. This One is million ants. Going great. No. Suck my fucking dick. As fun as an 89 mission lore crusade sounds, EDF is better explained with flowcharts. Oh boy, do I ever love flow. Basically, the Ravagers, aka God, throw something at you. You blow its head off, so they throw either a shit ton more of that thing at you, a variant of that thing at you, a bigger version of that thing at you, or make you fight that thing in the dark. Yeah, giant spider's not hard enough. Let's do this shit with our eyes closed. Then once they realize that thing isn't gonna kill you, bang, they throw in the next thing. Sometimes this graduation is logical. Like, oh, you beat all the ants? Well, here come the spiders, fuckface. You calling a satellite on that one spider? Yes. yes. Other times, it's not. Like, oh, you beat all of our robots and lasers? Well, I hope you're ready to fight the entire dragon population of- Okay, so this sounds like they just wanted to take every villain from lore and have you kill it with a gun. Which, actually, I'm kind of into this. Uh, I'm extremely into this. Though, I gotta say, the, the other thing that doesn't make any sense, and this is just universally true of gaming, is the progressive enemy like ladder right if your goal is to exterminate earth you you would just throw your most powerful weapons at them or you would throw your your like you would throw what you think is an appropriate weapon right like like maybe twice what they can possibly handle and if that fails then you just throw your biggest weapon at them. This is sort of how we use antibiotics on bacteria, right? The worst thing you can do is to, if your goal was to create, to engineer an antibiotic resistant bacteria, what you would do is you would feed them first your weakest antibiotic. And then when the infection wasn't cleared, you would throw it like the next slightly increased dose. You would just dose it up a little bit at a time so that it had plenty of time to adapt to each increased dose. And then finally, when it was able to uh, survive even a heavy dose of that antibiotic, then you go to your second line antibiotic and you dose it with just a little bit and then a little bit more, then a little bit more, then a little bit more, then a little bit more. In fact, if your goal was to create the perfect virus, you would throw antibiotics at it the way that most video game villains throw enemies at you. Which actually makes me think that maybe the like big plot twist of this is that they're not actually trying to exterminate humanity, they're just trying to force humanity to evolve into like the perfect combat species. Which would actually be like pretty smart if you were, say, some like some like sigma male fucking you know scrawny ass you know beta alien right and you had to fight some like super race of mega killers well instead of you having to solve that problem why don't you just grow your own race of super warriors which you would basically do by exactly this throwing progressively more difficult enemies at humanity until eventually humanity got to the point where it was just like a a, a, a refined killing machine just like a collective perfect war society of skyrim i don't know what's happening anymore <laughs> what's happening with my brother in christ you are the dragon board Occasionally, the Ravagers break the flow chart and throw some random shit at you like uh nondescript lizard uh don hector uh, dog. What the dog do? What the dog do? Damn. Literally dog crushing an entire it. metropolis. First comment. What the dog doing? But they can spam all the dipshit lagoon creatures they want because we've got something they'll never have. Yeah. Discretionary spending. <laughs> you guys are not familiar with the final boss of planet Earth known as America. We have a yearly allocation of money approved by our head mage and council of elders, informally known as Defense Department Dima Dollars. These give us the right, but not the obligation, to send any creature on our planet back to God for any reason at any time. You can't parry that shit, you dumbass! So if Ravagers think they can enter American airspace without consequences, I've got 778 billion reasons why they're wrong. I'm done playing with you, your ass. Actually, that's even low, and the reason is because America's most powerful weapon system, its nuclear arsenal, is actually controlled by, in large part, the Department of Energy, right? The Department of Energy, of course, handles all nuclear activity in the United States. And so a large number of our nuclear forces uh, are actually funded in whole or in part by the Department of Energy budget. So when you add that in, uh, it becomes even larger. 
something on the order of like a trillion dollars a year. And it's sort of insane. So some of it is deceptive, right? Because like when Russia, for Russia to raise a tank battalion, as you've seen, they are on the budget plan. So their soldiers are not really that well trained. They are, their tanks are not that well maintained. Uh, in contrast, the United States is maintaining its tanks like every week. Every week, literally, they have soldiers do nothing but spend half a day in their motor pool checking their vehicles, tires to turrets for everything. Uh, it's called a pre PMCS, a Preventative Maintenance Checks and Services. The vehicles are also have regularly scheduled maintenance that they always get done, right? We spend so much time and effort maintaining our equipment in a constant high state of readiness. In contrast to Russia, as you've seen, they really d d don't. I don't know how else to put it. They just didn't. They they literally they had tanks that had probably sat for decades, um, you know, just never even turned on. Whereas a U.S. forces vehicle never goes more than I'm going to say at most two weeks without either being checked to, or being turned over. Uh, and if it hasn't, then it's because it's in the shop getting fixed. So. Yeah, it, it, it's just not, the U.S. does things on another level, truly. And we've seen this. We we believed for a, a long time that that like Russia and China, their spending got them like when they said, oh, we have an artillery battalion. We believe that they sort of looked like our artillery battalions where, OK, the soldiers train on the equipment every week. The equipment is fastidiously checked and maintained. And we're seeing now that doesn't appear to have been the case. So again, are we getting our money's worth? Tough to say, but we really thought things were a lot more competitive than they are than they were. Tell me. Oh I'm not playing with you. To remain more accurate, it technically is the Earth Defense Force and not the United States, but it's canonically headquartered in North America and is basically a Japanese-flavored NATO. Hey, isn't NATO the one that drone strikes weddings? No, that's the U.S. That's us. But the U.S. is part of NATO. Guys, if you look at the budget, in fact, maybe I'll even look this up for you guys just so you can see what I'm talking about. Uh... U.S. share of NATO budget. Uh, let's see if we can find a visualization of this. I really hope they do have it because, yeah, there we go. There we go. Okay, NATO, I want you to bear in mind, yeah, this is, this is, this is what we're talking about. Okay. All right, let's see if we can just open this image. Beautiful, beautiful, I love it. Okay, this, this is is how much each NATO member spends on their military. 2014, but I think the proportions have basically stayed true. Uh, as you can see, when you say NATO, you basically mean the U.S. and friends. Like, like just look at how non-helpful all of the other NATO countries are, right? And I get it. Like, Germany is a smaller economy. The U.S. has 300, almost 400 million people. Uh, Germany has, like, you know, what, what, 30? So it makes sense the U.S. has 10 times the budget. Uh, we're also just a bigger economy, right? We just make a lot of shit. But I just want you to understand that, you know, the U.S., the negotiating power within NATO is, like, tremendous. And here's the here's the kicker. This, this the United States, when you join NATO, we guarantee that this will help this. If some, if Russian tanks roll into Latvia that is summoning this so functionally this is one of the reasons why a lot of these countries underspend their defense budget because literally the difference between latvia spending 25 cents or 50 cents is meaningless because they can call on the person with a 600 hundred dollar budget you see what i mean it's like what does it matter that you spend 50 cents or 25 cents or 75 cents on your own defense when like realistically it doesn't make a difference the u.s is going to fight and defend you nato is the best deal in defense budget history frankly 
yes, but you can't just blame NATO. I can't believe NATO would do something like this. U.S. EDF Kawaii NATO, whatever your preferred pronoun is for the exterminators, we're the ones with the discretionary spending, and I'm about to blow 99% of it on napalm. We're just in the end of a Marlboro right now. This is what goes on inside of a Marlboro <laughs> cigarette to deliver you maximum fucking flavor. 825 weapons across four different classes are at your disposal, and you can rest assured that 825 of them are fucking stupid. <laughs> Oh, what? The you thruster can damage building. me? I just leveled yeah. half this building. Oh this is God. the dumbest fucking weapon on this planet. <laughs> Before picking your stupid weapon, pick your stupid class. Ranger is stupid stupid. Wing Diver is weird stupid. Air Raider is stupid. Over Literally just Raytheon. Okay, Raytheon guys, they do like the radars. They do a lot of like electronic warfare stuff. Uh, yeah, they don't make, like, the weapons, as far as I know. But let me know in the comments if you know something else Raytheon makes. Howard and Fencer is... Again, do not look him in the eyes. Every class is a solid pick, because the one stupid thing they all have in common is that they're all... The T-Pose. It's not actually a laser, that's just a big-ass physics gun from Gary's mod <laughs> yeah. pointed at the Earth. Yeah. <laughs> Ranger is Babby's first EDF class that's essentially man with gun. So if you greet household pests with a barrel of a 12-gauge, this guy is a no-brainer. <laughs> My wife has forbid me from doing that. But so help me God. Something comes after my chickens. All bets are off. No, I wouldn't I wouldn't shoot a gun in a suburban neighborhood. I would just use the shovel. I did threaten a possum with a shovel, but the possum wasn't scared of me at all, man. It was not even a little bit worried that like a giant with a shovel was like, get out of my yard. Just played it cool. Just kind of was like, oh, I guess I can't be here. And just like sauntered away. Anyway, th this is a dumb tangent. Let's keep going. <laughs> I hope you like Backblast because you are forced to use a rocket launcher if you're playing on any difficulty higher than journalist. And the reason why is simple. S to the C to the A-L-E because the Ravagers have been here all of five minutes and they've already smoked half of the human race. <laughs> Wah, that's wah. not hyperbole, that's canon. Human race has been destroyed. You've got to remember how big and how many of these things there are. For the majority of the game, you can close your eyes while shooting and suffer zero decrease in accuracy. Why the fuck does EDF even have a crosshair? I don't need this shit. You're facing <laughs> a mountain of insects every mission, and you move mountains with explosives. Because ARs lack firepower, shotguns lack range, sniper rifles lack rate of fire, and before one of you smart asses says missiles are superior to rockets, they're not. I'm getting my dick. Okay, guys, I, as far as I know, missiles and rockets are like the same thing. Like a rocket just means a rocket engine, uh, which is like burning propellant, right? Pushing it out and it pushes the, the, the projectile. And so I think a missile is just a weapon powered by our rocket engine. So, yeah, this is a dumb distinction munched by a spider every second of every round. I don't have 20 minutes to lock onto a target and another 20 to wait for an explosion. I need that shit low tier god now. I might get it, I might get it, I might get it, I might get it, I might get it. Come on, oh I got it, I got it, he's fucked, don't kill that guy. Sir, uh, sir. Gotta love this sir. javelin. Ukraine Simulator 2022, <laughs> baby. So if you want to play Ranger, you've got to be a Rocket Man. There are just too many fucking bugs for you to use anything else. Oh, Seriously, man. guys, I'm at my fucking limit. Please stop spawning one. Bring the shotgun secondary is a wise choice because there is a range where rocket launchers should not be deployed. And I'm far enough. I was not far enough. You can get away with using a grenade launcher like the Splash or Stampede. Jesus. 30 frags per shot, but the odds of you clearing a mission without killing everyone, including yourself, is virtually zero. Let me see how this works. <laughs> I could have all oh my god. On the god. You can be ahead of me all you want. Be my fucking. I'm friend. not swinging. Yeah, you literally, miss. bro. <laughs> oh, they all came back. I don't even. Ooh, that's the struggle. Yeah, real, uh, FYI guys, real grenades don't work that way. They they just, they shoot, they arm within 50 meters, or they arm after 50 meters and explode. I know where to go now. I'm, I oh god, it. oh I'm god. Just rolling. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Wing divers are a special forces unit comprised entirely of fictional creatures called women, specifically designed as a secret weapon against giant creatures, which is why they spend all of their time getting clapped by giant creatures. Apart from an art. FYI, guys, I'm pretty sure this is from that uh, movie, Reign of Fire, the 90s movie about, like, like, 
dragons and people having to skydive to fight the dragons. Personal based in laser beams instead of jacketed hollow points, Wing Diver has a massive movement advantage over Ranger that she uses exclusively to get stuck in spider web. But that's okay. It's nothing that a direct impact from an M202 flash can't fix. Rangers lead the way. Also, how are you still alive? If you can avoid playing like an NPC, Wing Diver has the mobility and firepower to vaporize every last bug on this planet. Y'all, yeet. Very big if, though, because much like all women, her armor scaling sucks, so if you don't meticulously manage your ever-depleting energy levels, the insects are gonna snap you in half like a Ritz cracker. She also gets bonus points for her rollerblades and quirky weapons. Yo, I can take out a whole the rollerblades? Yeah, of course. This is... There's only two flavors of anime anime combatants highly realistic elite military jack dudes or like wayfish woman with superpowers that's it there's no in between you're either you're either like jocko willick anime or you're sa you're just sailor moon with more robot shit watch well, if you pick me up watch Oh my god. Yeah. Jojo fans triggered in the comments. This is what my gun does. Air Raider is the only class that can be played on the highest difficulty while eating a bag of Doritos. And I mean that literally. Friendly airstrike inbound. This is my kind of class, by the way. And also, this is basically, I think, how the real Air Force operates. They're called JTACs, Joint Tactical Air Controllers. And yeah, this is their specialty. Their specialty is just talking to big weapons that sit in the sky. And they can just sort of summon them. Uh, seemingly it will. I love Ranger, I love Wing Diver, but Air Raider is something else. That is like the ultimate form of spawn camping, <laughs> like dog. Much like Q-tips are designed for your ears, Air Raiders aren't designed for damage. But in both cases, I don't care. If you want me to play a support class as a support class, then don't give me a Tomahawk cruise missile as a primary weapon. Where is that missile? Is it coming down or not? <laughs> Theoretically, Air Raider is designed to have a vehicle spawn, helpful support item, and sticky bomb launcher for emergency self-defense. <laughs> but again, I don't care what it's designed to do. I care about what it can do. I get Guys, FYI, if you're gonna call airstrikes with uh, friendlies nearby, you have to tell the friendlies when the airstrike is coming in and where it's going. Um, you'll usually do this by, well, talking to the team lead, right? This is what a good JTAC will do. Good JTAC or uh, air joint, yeah, a JTAC is gonna sit next to you. So like when I went on missions with JTACs, literally those JTACs would camp next to me. Um, and that's because they, I had command and control of my troops, they had command and control of any assets, any fixed or rotary wing air assets that came on station. So, they could feed me drone intel, which was awesome, or in the event they had to call, uh, call airstrikes, they would be able to coordinate directly with me, the commander on the ground, to say, hey, where are your troops right now? Where, where should we put this round and the nice thing is is like because they're right there you can sit there and be like hey man you see across the ravine you see that like weird looking tree that's where i need this round to go and these math nerds can turn that into a grid coordinate that they can actually send ordinance onto right because you can't tell you can't tell a, a you know you can't tell an a, you know an f-18 to drop ordinance on a tree gamble away all of my personal safety in close quarters so that I can triple up on items specifically designed to put stadium-sized craters into the earth. That should help. This should help a lot. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> and besides, there's no written rule anywhere that I can't use a hammer of dawn at point-blank range. I'm not scared. I'm not scared. I will use this as a close quarters weapon. I'm not scared. These weapons are so catastrophically fucking powerful. It is nothing short of an insult to call Air Raider a support class. I'm not here to support the violence. I am the violence. My face when playing a support class. Yup, definitely a support class. Hey, I think I hit it. I hit it. Just, oh my god. Oh my god. I almost just FPS rushed myself with that spider. No matter if it's. Okay, guys, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna share with you guys a, a, an uncomfortable reality. There is a treaty that has stopped the weaponization of space. And we signed it in like the 60s, right? Like literally we had the first satellite with a little, you know, size D battery broadcasting beeps. And we immediately were like, guys, let's just agree we're not gonna put weapons in space. And the reason is because putting weapons in space is really easy. 
right? They call them the rods from God. The idea is that in theory, you could put just a tungsten rod on with a with a little like rocket cone on a satellite and when something you don't like happened um that satellite just releases a tungsten rod and it falls onto the thing you don't like the problem is is that it gains so much speed that by the time it actually hits it's probably going to induce some level of nuclear fission that's how much energy it's going to be hitting with so you're going to create a small nuclear weapon uh just by strapping you know a big enough eye beam onto a spacex rocket so remember if you, and now you have to think about how many satellites are up there uh look you can buy commercial satellite footage that's like 12 hours old and it's superior to basically anything that the uh military had access to before about 2005 so the volume and capacity of commercial satellites is huge. So you can only imagine if nations were to agree, hey, let's just militarize space, that all of space would just be big chunks of, of, of tungsten just falling down, just finger of God deleting cities right and left. It's actually like pretty terrifying. It would definitely be like a world ending event. So like a space laser is just like so superfluously stupid and it's so expensive. It would be so much cheaper just to be like, oh, there's a small concentration of enemies. Gadoosh. Carbon bombs, orbital lasers, or Tomahawk cruise missiles. There's so much damage to be done over such a wide area that the hardest part is not killing all of your teammates and yourself. All right, I got some... That, that, is, that is actually a, re a realistic problem. No, 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 the beam, the beam, the beam. No, Go the that beam. way. Oh, shit. <laughs> Why are they already here? Oh, trust me. They're not going to... Oh, you block my throw, Stretchy. Oh, oh God. Oh, God. Oh, we oh, can't no. even escape it now. It's already... Get under... Oh, you can't even get oh, under the overpass. Right. Damn. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. Oh, God. Oh, dear oh, God. Okay, okay, okay. I got it. I got it. Oh, oh. Skulker, please stop strafing in my way. That's a laser. You're going to... Skulker, I don't even fucking care anymore. <laughs> <laughs> this brawn is amplified when you combine it with brains. And I I was more than happy to sh yeah, there's these yeah show these dipshit insects what that looks like because the difference between having 200,000 neurons in your brain and 86 billion neurons in your brain is an airborne flamethrower that even physics is pissed off about we are learning a valuable lesson about gravity today i'm not done abusing this chasm of an intelligence gap either because if you think a flamethrowing helicopter is cruel just wait until i strap 20 high caliber turrets onto my rotors in a clever maneuver called engineering <laughs> Like, I just, every time I see a TF2 reference, and there's so many TF2 references here, it just warms my heart, man. Okay, this should work. Yeah, I'm starting with one. Going to oh two. Oh my goodness. Okay, okay, okay. It's working. <laughs> okay. It's working. Right. Okay. What? This is tax. This is tax. We're doing it. We're doing it. This oh is working God. perfectly. <laughs> This is working perfectly. What? Oh, yes. How? Oh my god. <laughs> this shouldn't be, but it's so crazy. <laughs> the best feature of Air Raid All right, I love not this. his helicopters or his airstrikes or even his orbital laser that can make any crab-based enemy dance like a stick bug. Oh, you can make it. What was that? <laughs> it, was like, it feels like that stick bug dancing. <laughs> stick bug. What the f <laughs> Damn. He disappears! <laughs> Damn, those crabs are it's fucked. The Gundam, which they call a balam, but we're punching nondescript Japanese lizards in the face here. It's a gun. Uh-oh, it's going super uh -oh. sad. Uh-oh, it's going nondescript power-up. You can spawn this thing <laughs> non-stop. Gotta love it. Man, I, I love when people are just like, listen, we're gonna play fast and lose copyright law here. You kill enough baddies, and I'm not gonna say it's better than Erginus, which is their name for the giant lizard. Damn, he hit me once, and I lost two thirds of my health. Oh the god, health? oh god, oh god, all of yeah. my health just fucking disappeared. Oh my god. Oh my god. Damn. Big robot does not seem as good. That lizard to took one sip of the McDonald's Sprite, and I was done. But it's your best shot at knocking this oversized iguana flat on his ass. And apart from skipping the knockdown animation by spamming the Taunt animation, this thing is completely self-explanatory. <laughs> Accelerate your mass to maximize the force of the impact. 
Just punch him in the face. I don't have the legal permission to say that I killed the trademarked creature Godzilla, but there were several hundred reptiles harmed in the making of this video. <laughs> Oh man, this is just funny. Nothing stronger than this monster is Japanese copyright lawyers. Harry, this you stupid fucking lizard. <laughs> punching a lizard. In the oh man, oh yeah, some Metal Gear Revengeance. Ah, oh, this is just, this is just, this is the entire video is just pure Easter eggs. God. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, listen. This is this is combat sports, all right? If you want to be a brawler, if you want to get in the pocket, the pocket is the term for anywhere inside of like jab range. You want to get in the pocket and just throw blows. Dude, you're going to either get some mad spectacular knockouts, but eventually you're going to get clipped and you're going to get smoked. Right. There's no two ways about it. You got to you either be a tactical fighter or you be a lucky fighter. Right. Now, don't get me wrong. Some people just they just won the genetic lottery. Some people just have that like Homer Simpson, just like thick cranium. You know, their jaw is just like built different. They can just bite down on it and just uh, 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 I just they can't get knocked out. And so they're like, well, you can't knock me out. But here's the problem. Everybody runs out of brain cells eventually. And yeah, if you, you some people have a brain that can take a beating before it shuts off. But eventually, everybody's got their number. The number of, of blows to the head they can take before they are done, right? Before their brain is just like, no, I can't take anymore. I've taken enough damage. I'm shutting down. And this is true whether you're an NFL linebacker, whether you're an MMA fighter. Um, so yeah, this is this sort of like, get in the face of the lizard and just Arr! i mean when you're a robot it's fine you can always fix a robot but you can't fix a brain so don't do that oh i landed 86 hit combo he hits one haymaker and i just fucking die no the mcdonald's sprite fuck no <laughs> Get <laughs> your back of my combo. <laughs> Look at this shit. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, wait. Keeps you you <laughs> oh, 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 are you ready? Dennis <laughs> is down and out. Just fat bitch. It's lying on the items. And how could I forget the fourth and final clap? <laughs> Fencer is just ridiculous. And we just got done with Air Raider, who makes Dick Cheney seem like a nice guy. So I don't even know where to start with. Shout him. out to Air Raider for eating five guys. Like, let's back this up. I'm like. 80% sure he's eating a Five Guys burger. Fencer is just ridiculous. And we just got done with Air Raider, who makes Dick Cheney... Yeah, yeah, that's a Five Guys. That that weird, like, compressed-looking bun, that's a Five Guys staple. As is the, um, aluminum foil wrapper. He seemed like a nice guy, so I don't even know where to start with him. Literally a Gundam with two box cutters that's just coming up against <laughs> the entirety of the insects in Florida. He's supposed to be the heavy class with extreme firepower and jacked armor at the expense of turtle slow movement speed. There I'm may be like, some Whoa. civilian Jesus. casualties, but that's a sacrifice I am willing to make. But by exploiting his dash cancel mechanic, you can make him the fastest class in the game. If done correctly, even Wing Diver can't keep up with him. Let me be honest, I don't think heavy classes are supposed to to work this way which means he's super tanky super powerful super fast and he's got twice as many weapons as everybody else but air raiders this guy Jesus. specializes in melee combat i don't know who the fuck sees giant insects swarming a city and says to themselves oh boy i better grab my hammer how bunga it is the vulcan hammer is like a nuclear bomb on a stick you have failed the vibe check i just don't play what okay this doesn't make any sense guys just, just, I mean, I, I, this only makes sense in anime world. Only in anime world can you have, like, a whole bunch of guns and somehow, like, a sword or a hammer is competitive. Guys, I, I, listen, if a hammer works, a bullet will work. That's just, that's just how it is. Because, spamming shit because they, they, they work on the exact same principle. Hammer's dangerous because hammer go fast and then hit thing. It receives kinetic energy, generates it and then hits something, right? That's how a sword works. It gets kinetic energy, it concentrates it into a narrow blade, and then the blade contacts something. Well, what is a bullet but a blade vertical and horizontal, one little point, it gets a bunch of kinetic energy, it goes right in, right? It's just superior. So there's no like, bullets bounce off him, but my samurai sword can cut him. No, they work on the same principle.
in space all round. Rank complete. Wave dash gives me arthritis, so I leave that shit to Heavenly or her Boku. They both had fencers so power level that inviting them to my party was like typing SV underscore cheats one in the console. Yo, if aliens are real. I was about to ask you, is that gun good? <laughs> Alright, get your glasses ready. <laughs> Wait a minute. Bro, my graphics just... card stop, stop. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Oh no. I am this crossing my fingers. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, I live. Nope. Oh, the risk of that weapon is, is not friendly fire. It's that it will crash your game to desktop. <laughs> For a second there, Herboku, I became- You know it's bad when the weapon actually reaches through the game's reality into yours and starts to fuck with your machine. That meme of that dude sitting in a fast food restaurant just glowing <laughs> orange. <laughs> No matter the class you choose, progression is the same, and grind doesn't even begin to describe it. Grind. Each class is entirely separate, so leveling up one does absolutely nothing to another, and you don't level up per se, you just get better shit. Picking up red crates increases your armor stat. Picking up green crates gives you a random weapon. Tutorial complete. Ta -da! It's a grind, but it's a fun grind, because the more you build your armor and weapon stack, the more you can play on higher difficulties. <laughs> hey man, what's that hard mode like? And the top tier weapons you earn later on are 100% worth the effort. Every class has at least something outrageous. The rule of God is incoming. What's the blast radius on this bitch? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's that. Oh! <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, that is actually re the realistic blast radius of a um uh like a nuclear weapon. In fact, I believe there is a uh like calculator that will let you see what would happen if different nuclear weapons were dropped on your forehead uh nuke map there we go right yeah yeah it's called nuke map baby um yeah look at this look at this nonsense nuke nuclear secrecy.com slash nuke map right let's see so let's say Oh, I was let's I was going to be like let's say we dropped it uh, something on Washington DC but then I'll realize I'm going to get a visit from the secret service. In this simulation, let's say let's say just LA, right? Nobody likes LA. They're they're just they just don't have anything going for them, right? Uh, I don't even know where LA is. This is how this is how little it means to me. Is it San Luis Obispo? No. Is it Lompoc? No. Oh, there we go. LA. Okay. Then you can task it. Uh, <laughs> what would you like to target? Ooh, LA. Uh, enter a yield in kilotons or the smallest Davy Crockett all the way up to the SAR bomb. Okay. Let's do, let's, let's not even do that. Let's do China's current ICBMs, right? Uh, and we airburst it. Airburst is the most effective. Um, okay. Shabam. And there we go. This is what will happen. So, so the fireball will be two kilometers long, right? Uh, depending on height of detonation, it may vaporize everything. Okay, then, then we have moderate blast damage radius, five psi. Residential buildings collapse. Injuries are universal. Fatalities widespread. High chance of fire. Then you have thermal radiation. This is everywhere. The orange represents all the third degree burns right uh third degree burns extend through layers of skin painless because they destroy the pain nerves starring disable disability 100 percent probability at third degree burns right that's what this is 100 percent probability and then finally glass windows right this this moderate damage represents glass windows breaking etc so as you can see no meaningful loss to uh the united states given the given every person from la we've ever met sorry sorry los angeles people the point is is that if you were to really do this this is like actually even lowballing it
<laughs> now I, I know what you meant by the blast radius is yes. <laughs> Making it to the end of the campaign will grant you the honor of killing God, or at least blowing up his brain, in a level that consists of every laser ever created being beamed into your eyes. Lasers aren't real! Don't bother trying to understand it, because I fully comprehend every bit of the story, and that shit doesn't add up. Hey, we got the queen! It's like, uh, did you get the queen or a queen? Good thing it doesn't matter, because EDF 4.1, The Shadow of New Despair, is one of the greatest arcade game shadow of new it's despair worth the 20 demon dollars and playing it with my friends made it downright unforgettable holy <laughs> shit you fucking clown bro <laughs> oh, somebody's <laughs> happy as a soundboard Green. me McAfee. and the remodeled mcdonald's adding select all ingredients to my burger <laughs> <laughs> what about that mother motherfucker 43 <laughs> Ah <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, the ultimate trait in a sniper rifle, a glaring lack of accuracy threats. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you zigged when you should have zagged, my boy. <laughs> I've seen an entire cluster of ants move a rock before. Not a big rock, but like a decent sized pebble for ants. I saw them pick up Nebraska. Just before I go, shout out to Always Has Been and Loot X for making the kick ass map that you saw in this video. Magic for helping me fix some of the bones on. All right, yeah, you should watch this video. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for joining me. We got to get out of here. Uh, become a member of the Patreon if you want some combat video breakdowns that aren't going to get uh, demonetized by YouTube. Uh, take it easy.